one healing touch. Hello, welcome to Healing Touch. I am your host, Dr. Gina Miller, and I'm here at BronxNet Studios at the Mercy College campus. And we are doing another show, and we are just so excited about this show because this show is with my very own aunt, Pastor Barbara Reddick, and she's here from Georgia visiting this week. And I am so fortunate to have been able to grab her today and get her to come into our studio. Pastor Reddick, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Yes. Yes, it's a privilege and an honor. Yes. And I'm so very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is about you. I want this show to be about you because I want to talk to you and let uh, the people who watch our show learn all about Balm and Gilead Ministries and also Pastor Reddick. We want to know what you're doing out there in Georgia, how it's working out, how you started, and um, just um, share with me, share with us, you know, for all of us here in the Bronx, because we miss you, and uh, we remember all the good work that you've done here in the Bronx, and I want to know what's going on in Georgia, <laughs> and how is Balm and Gilead doing? Well, <clears throat> excuse me, Balm. Bomb and Gillian Pentecostal Delivery Center started in the beginning <coughs> um, with the Lord leading us to the um, Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta? And, yes. Okay. <coughs> now how that happened was I knew that we had to leave New York, but I didn't know where. Mm -hmm. So I prayed and I said, I know that I have to leave, but I don't know where, Lord. And starting the church wasn't in the plan at mm -hmm. that time. So I asked and I asked the Lord and finally he said, I'm going to tell your pastor. I'm going to tell the pastor. And the pastor is brought in Bronx Pentecostal Deliverance Center, Pastor Bishop elect Clarence E. S. Jones. And um, I went to him and I said, Pastor, the Lord told me that he's going to tell you where we should move. And he said, He did. <laughs> I said, Yes, so that's what the Lord said. So he said, Well, I'm going to pray. Mm -hmm. So he prayed. I went to him. I said, Did he tell you yet? He said, No. Mm -hmm. Nadia. Mm -hmm. I went again. I said, did he tell you? He said, no, not yet. Mm. So we kept with that for a while. And then I said, I I'm not going to ask him. So one day after all has went on in time, he said, guess what? <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> he said, God told me where are you going to be living? I said, he did. I said, where, where, where? Mm -hmm. He said, in Atlanta, Georgia. So I was so happy that he had gotten the answer because I wanted my husband to be happy where mm -hmm. we move, and I wanted to be happy mm -hmm. where we move, and I didn't want us to be flip-flopping back and forth. So I was so happy. Mm -hmm. When we... Um, got out there and first I just want to share um, before I speak on that uh, mm -hmm. a scripture God had given me okay <clears throat> even on today trust in the Lord which is in Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and 6 trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Amen. So I know that he will direct my path because Amen. we were there in Georgia happy when we, we moved, yes. both of us. Yes. I thank God for the direction that he had given us. He did, um, after a period of time, 
we um, were in the home. And we had uh, marriage counseling. Mm -hmm. We had um, Bible study. And that was in Riverdale. So and my son said, you'll have to move because I don't like this location. It's too rough. Being that we were, as you say, up in age, he wanted us to be safe. Okay. So we wind up in Smyrna. So, but before we even did that, we said, well, we're going to pray and ask God. And it goes right back to that scripture, mm -hmm. in all thy ways. Mm -hmm. So we prayed, and that's where we were, in Smyrna. Mm -hmm. Now, in Smyrna, we, um, this is Smyrna, Georgia, one of the counties a little bit outside of Atlanta. Right. And while we were there, we had uh, a short time of church service in the home. Then the Lord led us to a community room not far from the home. And there, we were giving out flyers introducing mm -hmm. the fact that we were there for service. And one lady said, no, I don't want it. So I said, Lord, it's time for me after a period of time to go home. So I was about ready to leave. And then the Lord said, give this lady okay. a flyer. So the lady was, young lady was walking and the Lord told her, go past that car where I was with the flyer. Mm -hmm. And I said, look at God. She received the flyer. I was encouraged right. that she received the flyer and didn't reject it. Mm -hmm. I drove off and she called the number on the flyer and she said, I need prayer. Well, that was my bullet. Okay. I turned the <laughs> car around real quick and I went back. We had prayer. Come to find out she was homeless. Okay. And, um, the reason why she got there is because she spanked her child. The father told the authorities they put her in jail. She lost a job. She wow. lost a home wow. where she was living. And then she wind up getting dressed in the library bathroom and sleeping in her car. And um, that was a ministry that I was saying, Lord, she, she's at a church, a big church, because later on she told me where she was fellowshipping, and the Lord said, I want you to minister to her. Right. Mm -hmm. I want you for this mission. Mm -hmm. So after uh, a period of time, and I would say about two years, and um, trying to give her shelter, get her shelter, helping her, even at a period of time having her in our home, mm -hmm. because sleeping in a car, right. in a cold right, right. Air and parking lot, it wasn't good. But I thank God for that relationship with her, mm -hmm. because out of that, and making a long story short, mm -hmm. the Lord gave her back her daughter, because they took great, her daughter. Great, great, great. The Lord gave her a new, place to live, mm -hmm. gave her a better job, mm -hmm. making much more money than she had before. Wow. You know, and great. it's just so beautiful how the Lord had used her yes. and used uh, the church in that capacity. And it was a, a growing experience. Right. How is she doing now? Wonderful. Great. Wonderful. Great. Great. Having her daughter with her. Her daughter's going to be graduating next year high from school? high school. Wow. Oh, no. Junior high school? High school. High school. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's high school. great. Yeah. Wow. It, it, it was a beautiful experience. Yeah. Um, she sent me a text how she felt, and it, it just it had me really um, ready to overflow. Can I yes. just say, I, I just need to interject this because that is really truly a bomb in Gilead you know the the scripture says you know is there no bomb in Gilead you know is there no healing you know and that 
that testimony alone, to me, what I see is that your express purpose for being um, sent to Georgia, for being sent to, to where you uh, met her, was so that you could be a mom in Gilead, you know, so that you could be that soothing, you know, salve, that healing balm that she needed, you know, to, to be um, massaged into her pain and that situation that she was going through so that God could bring forth a healing and a deliverance, you know, in her life. And, and that is amazing. I, I don't know if you see all of that or see it that way, but that's exactly what I'm <clears throat> hearing right now is that you were the vessel that God used to be her balm in Gilead. Well, I thank, I thank God for the experience and I thank the Lord for my husband, mm -hmm. um, Vernon Reddick, yeah. that he side by side, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, when the Lord gives uh, us something to do, he's there mm -hmm. right on it. And um, now the, we have a prayer station, the Lord calls it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know he called it a prayer station. Okay. So what has been happening and during the time of the church service, folks will come in because the Lord said, put the sign up on the door. Mm -hmm. You just want to pray? Well, come on in. And I put it that way. So folks will come in and they say, all I want to do is pray. Mm -hmm. I, I pray for me. Some come in crying and because they're going through something. And he says, just pray for me. I don't want to stay. Mm -hmm. So the Lord says, stop the service and pray. Right. So we call it a prayer station. Okay. <laughs> and, and the other uh, entity is uh, the church phone service. Yes. That's every Wednesday mm -hmm. from 7 to 7.30 in the evening on Wednesday. Okay. Every Saturday morning from 10 to 10.30, a full complete service. Mm-hmm. Prayer, worship, yeah. sermon, and benediction, okay. all in 30 minutes. Okay. And I thank God for that direction. Um, Souls has been calling in, mm -hmm. um, getting their family on board, and it didn't. It doesn't matter where you are. Right. We have folks calling in from New Jersey, mm -hmm. from Maryland, from uh, Texas from um, even the Bronx. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> thank God, thank God. So it's a number we call and it's a conference call and you come in and uh, on Wednesdays it's usually um, prayer requests right. and um, testimony, giving a feedback of what the Lord has done for you. Um, and we key in on that and worship. Okay. Uh, songs and all of that in 30 minutes. Yes. And uh, on Saturday is a regular service. Okay. Yeah, with the sermon attached to it. Okay. I would also like to. Beautiful. <laughs> you want to give the number? Yeah, I would Please. like to. Please, yes. Let's give out the number, uh, the telephone number that we need to dial in, and then the passcode. Okay. You know, so that we know you know, that we can be a part of the service. I would love to do that. Okay. Share that with the Bronx. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, it's 605-475-4735. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's the call. Mm -hmm. The code number when you're prompt is 104-1868-POUND. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you just call in on that time, which is on Wednesday, 7 to 7.30 in the evening. Mm -hmm. On Saturday is in the morning from 10 to 10.30. Okay. We would love to have any and everyone that wants yes. to come in and participate in the phone church service. Right. And what we'll do is at the end of this broadcast, will uh, have the phone number and the instructions on how to um, punch in the passcode 
we'll have that in the credits at the end of the show so that if anyone who's interested, if they didn't hear the number, they'll be able to see it at the end of the show. Thank you. That would be great. That's great. Okay, great. I appreciate that. That was That's really wonderful. I mm -hmm. also would like to share the fact that um, we, are, we have our sixth church anniversary coming up September yes. 24, 2016. Yes. It's at 1 o'clock. It's going to be in Smyrna. Mm -hmm. You can call the number 404-488. 7048 for any um, directions or any further instruction or information. If you're in the area, come on over. Yes. And also, who's going to be your speaker? <laughs> <laughs> Voila. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I will be the speaker um, at the um, Bauman and Gilead. Uh, ministry's uh, sixth anniversary uh, service. I will be the uh, keynote speaker and I'm excited about that. I, I actually was going to surprise um, Pastor Reddick by just coming in to you know be a part of the anniversary uh, but as the it would turn out that now I'm actually going to be the speaker at the service and and we're very excited You know about you know coming in. I'm sorry. We can't stay longer, but we you know, we're coming in We're leaving the next day, but I'm just really happy just to be a part You know of the anniversary service and um, I just also wanted to touch on uh, the the, um, the business well, it wasn't a business um, the multi-purpose center, remember, yeah. that, that you started over on Watson Avenue. And, and, and folks, you know, Pastor Reddick was a um, community activist and uh, the head of the, um, the building association, I believe, at, at the Watson Avenue um, projects where she used to live in the Bronx. She is uh, from the Bronx. And the service was called the Multipurpose Service Center, right? Bomb and Gilead Multipurpose Center, something yeah. like that. And there, um, Pastor Reddick helped people who needed help with resumes. She helped senior citizens who needed help with uh, filling out uh, documents and forms, personal business that they um, were not able, you know, to complete on their own. So um, this ministry of Bomb and Gilead as as you see, has started before you got to, journey, to, to Georgia. Before you got to Smyrna, Georgia, you have been a bomb in Gilead, you know, um, a, a healing bomb and a help to people who need help, you know. So I, I'm just excited about the, the ministry and what God is doing in your life and, and how uh, your husband has just grown into this wonderful a uh, man of God who is just holding you up, you know, uh -huh. holding your arms up and, and just being a part of the ministry. It, it's just amazing to see what the Lord has done. Mm. Yes, it's really yes. amazing, you know. Yes, I, I give all the glory and honor to him because I remember mm -hmm. how things used to be. Yes, yes. You know, and I see now what the Lord is doing and how he's brought us. And <clears throat> we also had... Uh, a library over at Cross. Yes, the library. Yeah. Yes. And the other children would come in. Yes. And we uh, serve the children, all their needs to grow and nurture them. Yes, yes. You know, and took them on trips. But I, I thank God for every experience, every mission, mm -hmm. everything that he has given us to do. Mm -hmm. I go back to that scripture, trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding and in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path yes yes i'm, Amen. I'm grateful Amen. in the Amen. lord jesus christ as my savior yes yes so now uh tell us a little bit about what you're doing here this week well, in new york <laughs> Well, there is a tent service going mm -hmm. on in Watson, 17, 1755 Watson Avenue. Mm -hmm. And it's 
a dynamic, mm -hmm. dynamic service, a, a pulling in of the young folks mm -hmm. off the streets mm -hmm. and those that are troubling their minds with so much pressure mm -hmm. that, you know, this is the place to be. Yes. Okay. You know, where God can work, where God, I mean, out in the streets and, and doing all these different things, mm -hmm. and you think you're happy, but you're depressed on the inside. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, you don't know which way to go and which way to turn. But the Word of God yeah. is being preached there at the tent service, mm -hmm. and it bringing in the souls yeah. off the street, ministering to those that are hurting on the inside mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no matter what the situation is be it um, financial be it um, social anything that you know that is bringing you down to the ground where you can't seem to find your way up mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know find it in the word of God that's right back to the scripture trust mm -hmm. in the Lord with all your heart not some of it Right. All your heart and lean not into thine own understanding. Mm -hmm. And in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. And um, the seventh one, it says, be not wise in thy own eyes. Mm -hmm. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. You'll see a turnaround. Mm -hmm. You'll see a turnaround. No more of that uh, feeling lonely, like, you know, um, all, the whole world is around you, but you're feeling lonely, mm -hmm. you know, or you're thinking about suicide, you know. God said, I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Always, not some of the time, always, mm -hmm. even to the end of the earth. Mm -hmm. you, you won't reject us. We come to him with our whole heart and meaning it, you know, not just lips, but in the heart. Mm -hmm. And God will make a way out of no way. Out of no way. That's right. That's right. Well, you know, um, that's what Healing Touch is about, you know, um, the whole the, the concept, you know, Healing Touch is that God himself will touch you and heal you wherever you hurt. You know, we hurt in a lot of different places. Um, one touch, just one touch from the master will make you whole again. And that's the whole purpose of Healing Touch. And the, the uh, theme song of um, Healing Touch is called Just One Touch. And the words are um, just one touch, one healing touch, one touch from the master will make you whole again. And then the verse says, though you've been hurt before, your heart has been broken and your world was torn in two. I know someone who cares and he's knocking at your door and waiting to come in. All you need is just one touch, one healing touch, one touch from the master will make you whole again. And I just invite you as you're watching this broadcast right now, and if you feel that you are in that place that Pastor Reddick was describing, where you feel that you might even want to take your own life, that you feel that you are alone and you are hurting inside, I invite you right now to just call on the name of the Lord. No matter where you are, I don't care if you're on the train or you're sitting in the middle of your living room, wherever it is that you might be hearing this word. The Bible says that he once you, know, you hear the word of God, that you should not harden your heart. Don't harden your heart and turn away. And the heart in your heart means that just say, oh, forget about that. I don't want to hear that. You know, don't harden your heart because if you hear this word and you're listening to this word, it's because God meant for you to hear it. So if you're sitting or standing wherever you are and you happen to hear this word and you are in that place that Pastor Reddick was talking about, that you might even want it to take your own life, I want you to call on the name of the Lord right now. The Bible says that he, God so loved the world, John 3:16. He says he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever would believe on him would not perish but have everlasting life. And I want you to understand that you have everlasting life. Everlasting life if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. And, and, and God is, is willing to, to listen to your faintest cry. Just call on him right now because he is knocking at the door of your heart. Amen. 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 I tell you, I mean, it is just so good to sit and talk about God. I could talk about the Lord all day long. Amen. But you know what? Yes. There, yes. there are people who are sitting in a place that nobody is listening to them. So it's up to us to go to those places. Amen. Yes. Amen. It's up to us to, to be the hands and the eyes and the ears. You know, um, some people are not going to come to church. So I thank you for the um, phone service. And I invite you all that are able to call in on Saturday or Wednesday to call Bomb and Gilead Ministries, Pentecostal Ministries, where Pastor Reddick will be on the other end of the phone and be available to pray with you and to be able to help you to come to a place that you can have a closer walk with the Lord. That's all you need. Don't condemn yourself because Jesus doesn't condemn you. God is not condemning you. So stop condemning yourself, okay? And I want you to just remember that we are here at Healing Touch every Thursday night at 8 o'clock p.m. And we'd like for you to continue to watch us and um, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Any passing um, final words, Pastor Reddick, that you want to leave with the people in the Bronx as you uh, go back to Georgia? What do you want us to, to remember? That I love you and God loves you best. Okay, amen. <laughs> well, thank you for watching and um, we're glad to, to be here at BronxNet. We want to remind you that we are on every Thursday night at 8 o'clock p.m. on BronxNet Channel 70. Thank you and God bless you.